In this video, you will learn how to use GeoGebra to construct a line tangent to a given circle at a given point on the circle. This means we want to construct a line that intersects with the given circle, but only at one point. On the drawing pad is circle C, centered at point A. Point B is a point on the circumference of circle C. Start by selecting the Ray Through Two Points tool from the line toolbar. Click first on point A, then on point B. Half line AB is created, labeled as lowercase a. A tangent line to a circle is perpendicular to the radius of the circle. Since half line AB contains line segment AB, a radius of circle C, we can construct a perpendicular to half line AB at point B. Select the Circle with Center Through Point tool from the Circle Toolbar and click first on point B, then on any point on half line AB. This creates point D and Circle D centered at point B. With the Circle with Center Through Point tool still selected, click first on point D, then on any point on half line AB more than half the radius of Circle D. This creates point E and Circle E centered at point D. Use the Compass tool from the Circle Toolbar and click first on point E, then on point D. Place the circle at the opposite intersection of Circle D and half line AB from where point D is. This creates point F and Circle F. Finally, select the Line Through Two Points tool and click both intersections of Circles E and F. This creates points G and H and Line GH which is a perpendicular to half line AB at point B. Since line GH is perpendicular to radius AB at point B, GH is a tangent to circle C. Because GeoGebra is dynamic, we can see what happens when we adjust various elements of the construction using the Move tool. Moving point A adjusts the scale of the construction. Since point B is a point on the circumference of circle C, Moving it around the circle changes the slope of the tangent line. Note that GH remains perpendicular to AB and tangent to circle C. Moving points D and E adjust the radii of circles D, E, and F. Notice that if point E is moved to less than half the radius of circle D, circles E and F will no longer intersect. This is why it is important that point E is placed in its initial position. Click on the yellow arrow in the upper right hand corner to undo the previous action and point E moves to its previous location.